this beginner's lesson, I'll show you how to play Benny King's Stand By Me using a really simple fingerstyle technique. Let's go. <laughs> basic fingerstyle version of the classic Benny King song Stand By Me which included a few connecting notes to get us from one chord to another and I'm going to show you how to get to that way of playing in three easy stages so don't go anywhere we're playing this using four chords G E minor C and D which puts us in the key of G although according to one of the writers it was originally recorded in A my name is Dave and if this is your first time to the Guitar for Beginners channel, thanks for dropping by. It's great to have you with us. Stand By Me is a great song. It's a classic 60s R&B soul song. Released back in 1961, it was a number one in the US Billboard charts, but only a number 27 in here in the UK, which is even worse than Love Me Do. It was composed by Benny King and two of rock and roll's great songwriters, Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller. And it was Jerry Lieber who said that it was recorded in A. We're doing it in G, as it's easier to play. Loads of people have recorded this song, including John Lennon on his 1975 rock and roll album. And also Otis Redding on his, I think it's his debut album back in 1964, called Pain in My... Oh, that's right, Pain in My Heart. So as I said, we're going to do this in three stages. Here's the most basic version using G. E minor, C and D. What we're going to be doing is playing the root note of each chord. So for the G chord, it will be the third fret of the low E string. For the E minor chord, it will be the open low E string. For the C major chord, it will be the third fret of the a string or the fifth string and for the D chord it will be the open D string or fourth string and the basic finger star pattern is one that we've looked at before and you can check in the description for a link to that previous lesson and it goes something like this So why not have a go with me? So me and you together, here we go. One, two, three, four. Very nice. You could stop here and leave it at that lousy thing to do to this song. So let's look at this chord progression and this finger star technique and add a little frill to it. And from now we're going to be connecting G to E minor and E minor to C. So I'm going to play it really slow. One, two, three, four. Connecting notes from G to the E minor are like this. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. So you'll see that I played the G note here as normal. But then, when I changed to go down, I used my first finger, 
lifted up my third finger and then played this note here on the second fret which is an F sharp and then that leads into the E minor chord and so we are then changing to E minor and playing the first note of the next bar so like so one two three four Now what we have is the E minor to C. So have a listen to this. One, two, three, four. Now here is a bit of a difference because we are kicking off with the low E string here. But then we are playing this string here, which is the second fret of the D string or the fourth string, but it's also an E note. So this note here and this one here are exactly the same, but they are one octave apart. One, two, three, four. What we are doing now is on this fret here, the second fret, this is where we are going down. So we're going to hit this string once and then we are going to release the finger, the third finger, play the string again. So we are now playing an open D string and then we are going into the C chord and continuing as normal. So if you watch this, one, two, three, four. And then we are into the C chord and then we continue as normal. So if I put those two chords together, the G to the E minor, then the E minor to the C, it goes like this. One, two, three, four. So what you have to remember is that the descending part begins on the third beat of the bar and it will begin on the third beat of the second bar and the third beat of the fourth bar. And it's the thumb that does all the work on the right hand. So. Okay, so why don't we try that together? Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to go into the advanced version now. And, but first of all, I'm going to show you the intermediate version that we just looked at and the advanced version. See if you notice any difference. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope you noticed that there was like an extra note played there while doing the descending part. 
So when we have that descending lick, we are now going like that there. And the same with the E minor. And all we're doing is we're adding an open G note immediately on the next beat, which is the and beat uh, of the bar after each descending note. So if you look at the G, and you'll see I'm playing the first finger, the open G, like so, one, two, three, four, Having that extra note just gives a much nicer feel to the descending part. So listen to this, one, two, three, four. I think that extra note there helps to fill out the sound as well. Okay, so let's try that part together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. So play along and uh, you can either do it with the basic version, the intermediate version or the advanced version. Here we go. And we'll do an introduction, we'll do a verse, a chorus and the end. One, two, three, four. When the night has come, the land is dark, and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid as long as you stand. Stand by me And darling, darling Stand by me Oh now Stand by me Stand by me Stand by me Let me know how you got on with those three different versions of the finger style pattern. Which did you find comfortable to play? And of course, if you had any problems, also let me know in the comments. And also let me know whose cover you like best. Lennon's, Otis Redden, or even Florence and the Machine. Hit the notification buttons for more content just like this, and I'll see you in the next class.